Is this ring real or is it costume jewelry? Take a close look and put your best guess in the comments of what you think it is, and I'm gonna show you how an appraiser and a gemologist figures out what this is. Let's begin with the setting because that's the easiest to test, and we're gonna first look inside the bin for any clues like purity stamps or maker's marks. Zooming in, it looks like we don't have any stamps to help us. It's not attracting to a magnet, which is good to see, and the gold tester is giving us an unstable 14K gold reading. So this could be plated. We're gonna file off a little bit of what could be plating, and when we test there, we're getting an immediate no gold reading. Zooming in, we can even see there is a copper or brass alloy underneath. So now let's test that blue gem at the center. We sometimes do find real gems in costume settings, so let's first see how this gem bends light with an RI reading. Going in, we're getting about a 1.52, which is much too low to be topaz, and it's a reading we see more commonly in glass and plastic imitations, so let's head to the polariscope. Spinning the gem, we're not getting a very clear reading. It looks like it might be blinking a bit, but it's hard to tell, so this is the perfect time to use the dichroscope. Basically, if we see one color in both squares, that that means this is singly refractive and that's exactly what we're seeing. So this is looking more and more like glass or plastic. Let's head to the microscope to make our final call. At first glance, it looks like these could be flow lines found in glass, but it's not quite conclusive enough for me. But I also see a tiny patch of inclusions over here. Zooming in, we see a perfectly round bubble with no crystal around it. And that means this is definitely not a real gem. So did you get this one right?